Welcome back. We're here with Chef Allison from Peak Performance Catering. What are we making today? We are making a watermelon gazpacho. So um, instead of using a tomato juice, we're actually going to use watermelon for our mm. liquid. Cause Yum. Because it's, cause it's pretty good. watery, obviously, yes. watermelon. Uh -huh. um, I'm also using some heirloom tomatoes for color. We're going to use the yellow tomatoes. I have an English cuke. And I have cubanelle peppers. There's different peppers on the market. But I like using cubanelles those, or a sweet pepper. We have some jalapeno, mm. which always gives it a little kick. Mm -hmm. And then um, <laughs> what Stephanie and Joey are going to garnish. So we have okay. some... Um, so this is a watermelon gazpacho with a feta almond uh, topping Yum. and a little creme fraiche. So creme fraiche is a combination of sour cream and heavy cream. Okay. So just a little bit. So a little something. it's great because this is a very creamy um, soup. But All right. No well, let's cream. get Linda started. Okay. I think her, so she's going to push quickly. the buttons. <laughs> yes. So you're going to chop up or cut those up. You can just break it up with your hand. Or break it up. Yeah, because we. Yeah. And seeds come out just so they don't end up in the. Yeah, soup I at seeded all? this. This is an English cuke. It is a seeded uh, cucumber, but I took them out even more. Okay. Anything okay. Else? So we're gonna put a little bit of the watermelon in there. Okay. So the great thing about this is everything goes in at once. Yeah, okay. nice and easy. Did you even cut this up the night night before, Allison? <laughs> yeah, actually, gazpacho usually is made the day before because oh, nice. oh. you want it to kind of sit and all the flavors blend together. Mm -hmm. um, you can sit. It can sit for four hours. Uh, but I usually do it the day before because right, then that we're having company. So I like that in there. Do these the taste the like red vegetables. tomatoes? They have a. They are really sweet. They're actually sweeter than red tomatoes. They're about the same, honestly. It's just the variety is an heirloom. They're nice mm -hmm. and, and they're juicy. Better. Yeah, Those you are want juicy. Smells great. You want the juiciness of the tomato. That's what's going to give go. us our liquidy. Okay. All right. So then we're adding lemon juice. Okay. Okay. Yep. You put the in. lemon juice in there. This is a cider vinegar. You can use red a wine. Cider vinegar. Cider. cider. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you it could fight, but you know, you want the cider vinegar. <laughs> it's extra good for you, Linda. Okay, the cider. Some people use red wine vinegar, there's malt vinegars. It's you know, the great thing about cooking is that you get to do what you want to do. You know, use recipes as a guide. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this in because we just want a couple mm. Only good cooks these. can say what you just said. <laughs> use recipes as a guide. Oh yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then we're gonna hit it with um, I have salt and white pepper. So then you're going to put the lid on. Okay, Kathy, you're the technical okay, person. Okay, we're going to turn it like this. And then what we want to do is pulse. Pulse. So hit it, hit it, hit it. You're pulsing. Okay, while you're pulsing, yes, we're going to be cutting up some basil. Do you want me to cut the basil, or we're going to yeah, you're going to shift it. Shift well, we call it. I know how to do that. Roll okay. it. Yeah. It. So I'll give we'll you this. Oops. Okay. And then the other thing we forgot, oh, we forgot the jalapeno. Let's oh, throw that goodness. in there. Here, you don't have to take the lid off. We got a nice little I want to know more about this basil technique with a fancy name. So chiffonade, whenever you see that on a rest or a, in a restaurant, it's actually the stock, the cut, you know? Does so, it mean you roll it? Well, I just kind of chiffonade. You can roll okay, it. Okay, I was taught to roll it, but that okay. may just be me. Well. Wow, that sounds like a lot of trouble, rolling up a tree. Okay. <laughs> so that's that. I'll give you that. And then okay. we're going to dice up some of the watermelon. Can I stop? I yeah, you can stop. See okay. how you got a nice... Mm-hmm. Looks great. Oh, yeah. You want it a little bit chunky. Mm -hmm. Okay, it so. is a little bit, but not much. No, because, you know, it's not um, supposed to be, like, so... Mm. So we're gonna turn it. Is that okay? See, look at the color. It's yeah. really pretty. Yeah, yeah it is You know, if pretty. you want it a little bit darker, um, you can use... Um, you know, the red tomatoes would give it the more red flavor. All right, well, let's so, do some assembly here. So yeah. tell us how we do it okay, in each bowl. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of watermelon, watermelon in each bowl, bowl okay. just to give us the chunk. Oh, nice. So there'll be a little, a little bite in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you said some basil? Throw some basil in there. Basil in the bowl? On just the bottom. Okay, and then what do we do with the feta stays on the tops? Right, so basically what you want to do is, right, take your ladle. Okay. We're going to... All right, I'll ladle you. So this you. is if you want to... Um, you know, be a little fancy. With yeah, let's make them fancy on the top. So yes. then feta and almonds. So what I'm going to do is give you, this is the creme fraiche. Okay. We're going to kind of oops, squirt it, it around. And then we're going to add a little Gosh, bit of Gosh, it smells so incredibly mm -hmm. fresh. And a little bit of that, a little bit of feta, a little almonds, and then a little on top. So oh, there you go. And you can also, right. this could be nice up 
right, squirrel, nice. there you go. Oh, you are good, Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> and then Fire put off. a little more basil. Okay. So we are making watermelon gazpacho with Chef Allison. Now, are you working with the rowers again this year to do yeah, some Yeah, we feeding? have actually coming up uh, in September is the World Rowing Masters is coming into town. Oh, great. So we're excited. There's a lot of teams. You know, last year was the World Rowing Championships. Yes. And now this year we have the Masters. Oh, so okay, good. And I know you work with the athletes, keep them fed, keep them powered. Yes. So Love this it. is actually something really quick Would and be healthy. perfect on the menu. Yeah. All right, well, you can find this on our website, of course, a great summer soup. Delicious. Kathy, great to have you with us. Thanks so for joining good us. Here, as Enjoy as well. all the local produce. Enjoy the rest of your day as well. We'll see you Thank tomorrow. You. Take time. Enjoy the Suncoast view. Mmm.